Okay, so in this instance, I'm going to create a split database in LibreOffice. A split database is a more robust form of LibreOffice database than your standard database. This, for example, ODB file, which is your database extension for LibreOffice base, is actually a zipped folder containing quite a lot of files. Now, in this instance, this is the wizard for creating a split database, which I've obtained at mediafire.com and this URL. This particular URL will be on the blog posts that's associated with this video, which you can get to at businessprogrammer.com forward slash go forward slash 105. I've downloaded this earlier. It's in a folder called split database example. So if you notice this folder has nothing else right now other than the split database wizard. So let's double click on the wizard just to set it running. Click enable macros and you can give the database any name you want. I, well, for this instance, I just leave it with MyDB because it doesn't really matter what name it has because it's just going to connect to the database. So let's just go MyDB and click OK again. So now let us uh, create a table and I just call this field, I, this table ID and I will give it a, make it an integer and I'll set the auto value property to yes. And this should make it a key field. And I just create another field called first name. I'll create, call this last name. So let's just click yes to save it. And we close it save changes. So now if you remember how this folder looked before, it only contained this particular database name. But now you've got a driver folder for um, the for the HSQL DB engine that powers LibreOffice Base. And you've also got a database folder created. And this particular database has the database name which was the default MyDB this database connects to it. So for example, I could call this, as I said, I think before YouTube analytics. And if I double click on it, it should connect to this particular database. So this will be the front end to this database here. So this is the front end, this is the database engine, and this is the actual database that's on the database engine. So let's double click and fingers crossed that it works fine. Enable macros and click on tables and we're there. We've got table names. Now really this should be something to do with YouTube analytics, but it's just an example that I'm giving you. So let's just put in a first name and a last name. And everything seems to be working just fine. And there you go, we have a split HSQL DB database with the name YouTube Analytics. So if I close it again, hit Save My Changes. If I go up one folder, the split database example, you can see that this particular folder, split database example, is called YouTube Analytics. But what, what I can do now is I can just simply copy that folder, click to here and create another one. And I could call this, um, let's see, record collection. So let's change the folder. Record collection. And I'll just delete the wizard. In fact, I'll just take this old wizard out of here. And I will call this my record collection. and double click on it, enable macros, and we're into my record collection. So if I delete this table here, and I'll create a table in design view, and I'll call this, uh, well, I know I said record collection, but I don't really have any records. I do have CDs though. So I just call it CD ID and that's going to be a, an integer because this is the ID field. 
and I'm going to call it, uh, I guess, CD name, and that'll be text. And I'll just keep it simple. And the CD ID, we're going to want it to be an auto value, set that to yes, and that will automatically result in this table having an auto generated ID because I said that set it as that and it should become a key field. So let's click save table CD collection. Click OK. And now I guess um, this is where I'm going to get a lot of stick because it's what CD names am I going to put in here? So let's put it And I guess I'm just going to make up some CD names. I've got two CDs in here. I just close the table. Just test it. It's there. So now we've got my record collection. So now if I go into the split database example, which should be connected to a different database, that is to say it's the YouTube analytics one. If I double click on the YouTube analytics database and click enable macros, and then click on the tables field and we've got table names. So what I'm actually demonstrating here is that the databases are very portable because all once I've created one database, all I had to do really was copy the folder to another location. And as you can see here, we've got two separate databases which are working. So it becomes an easy to use and powerful database solution. And a split database isn't really that complicated. If there's any stuff I haven't really covered clearly or you want me to get into any more detail, please pop some comments either on my blog post at businessprogrammer.com forward slash go forward slash 105 or here on the YouTube comments. Businessprogrammer.com covers programming and productivity topics related to business process automation and business metrics reporting using free and inexpensive tools such as LibreOffice, Python, Microsoft Office, and its macros. So if you'd like to get notified when I create new tutorials on these topics, subscribe to this channel and get on the mailing list at businessprogrammer.com. Thanks for watching.